Bella Viva lovers. So today's review is The Day Shall Come. The Day Shall Come follows Moses on his revolutionary dream. However, he gets caught in the FBI twisted terrorist prevention scheme, which in fact creates the threat to begin with. Prepare ye, for the day that approaches is the day of the great revolution. What? Come on, tell me this ain't good. Based on a hundred true stories, this statement is the introduction to the movie and sets the tone. We have to be grateful for storytellers like Chris Morris, who are brave enough to poke the bear. If we give him a fake bomb and the guy tries to use it, we have the next Bin Laden. My mission is to change the lives of poor people without the gun weapon. The FBI must create a threat to create a career-busting takedown which will make themselves heroes and give their lives some purpose regardless at whose expense. I smell doubt. No, look, I am just a guy standing here talking to another guy trying to send a third guy to jail. Statements such as, pitch me the next 9-11, were said in such a nonchalant way. And while watching The Day Shall Come, I soon discovered that the biggest recruiters of terrorism actually are the FBI. Well, the film for me started out as the investigation of a lie. And that lie was that the American government said that they'd arrested an army planning a ground war on the United States. What's that you say? And what they'd actually done was arrest seven bankrupt construction workers who'd been wound up by an FBI agent to come up with a ridiculous plan, which turned out to be riding into Chicago on horses. Despite all the fear mongering, the FBI actually discovered that it's much harder to find a real terrorist than for them to invest and create one of their own. Preying on people at the fringe of society, vulnerable, and better yet, if you have a mental illness, it's better for them because then they can go to town. This was a sickening revelation, but I'm sure one that we are not surprised of. Perhaps your army needs weapons. No, we don't believe in guns. And if necessary, we'll call on the dinosaurs. We believe that at the sound of a trumpet, they will come to our aid. Moses is such a beautiful character that you can break down and investigate a lot further. He has this childlike innocence, vulnerability, humanity, and, and just sheer hope of what the future holds and seeing the best in people and in situations. We see this black man who has so much humanity and like vulnerability and loves his family. And that, like, there's so much heart there. Um, there's so much hope there. And although some of his views may be a little bit flawed and extreme, all of his ideals are coming from a place of pain, um, injustice, and misplacement. He's unarmed! Unarmed black man, unarmed white man. Which one's more likely to have the gun? For a comedy, The Day Shall Come is probably one of the saddest films I've seen this year. It really touched my soul and left me with a real sense of discomfort and uneasiness. I made a mistake. I think he's delusional. And as the kids would say, when you really deep it, um, this is based on a hundred true stories. And then when you multiply that by family and friends that are affected by the FBI creating terrorists or these honey traps, um, like we saw at the end of The Day Shall Come, it is just heart-wrenching and heartbreaking to know that this is going on and there will be no repercussions. It's just the horn they used to summon the dinosaurs. Laughing out loud while watching The Day Shall Come, I had a little bit of hope that there could possibly be a happy ending um, at the end of this. However, my Instagram timeline reassures me that there's only two ways that this film can end. One, Either he's murdered by the police, or two, he's wrongly imprisoned. This is his get out of jail card. His get out of jail card is going to jail. I think these stories are important to tell. Um, not only are they there to inform, but to challenge ideals, and also to just bring awareness of things that go on every day that we completely have no idea. So for all of those reasons, I give The Day Shall Come a Rachel r, &R rating of 8 out of 10. Do let me know your thoughts. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching.